Over the last few weeks, we've heard plenty of reports involving the criminalization of solidarity. Cases like the one involving Carola Raquete, captain of Sea-Watch, and Scott Warren, a volunteer for No More Deaths in the U.S.-Mexico border, have generated significant attention. A study that was commissioned by the EU identified at least 158 people have been prosecuted for providing assistance or help to migrants and people in distress. And this was only between the years 2015 and 2019. It's also important to identify the fact that the criminalization of solidarity is nothing new. It has in fact impacted the friends and relatives of people trying to seek safety for decades. It is important to highlight the trends that we're witnessing involving the criminalization of members from NGOs, but also that of ordinary people across Europe. Solidarity is not a crime.